Hey guys, what's up? Ibaka here with another video on a, another Naomi net dim. So I was able to get this net dim from a Japanese auction site and I was able to win it luckily and it's finally here and I took a look at it. So these net dims are a little hard to come by nowadays. Um, I was only get, able to get a regular dim last time but this dim, I was lucky enough to get the net dim so I'm pretty happy with it. And so the first thing I wanted to do is change these jumpers you see here to the net dim. They initially came in for the GD-ROM. And I also plugged it in to make sure that it's actually working and all the, the dims were being recognized. And it seems to be okay, except the version on the dim here is 2.07. And the net dim I got initially, my last one was 3.17. So that one, 3.17, you were able to go to 4.03 easily, but 2.07, I'm not sure about that. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research to figure out how I can get this version also up to 3.03 .03 so I can run the net boot again with through the Ethernet port here. And also I put in another one of these zero keys. I'm not sure if this one's even right. This one came with the original one and I didn't even use it. But uh, I'll just stick that one in there for now. I'm gonna close this up and then we'll try to see if we can update this net dim up to 4.03. Uh, this net dim came with version 2.03 or something and I needed to update it to 4.01 and actually 4.02 but I have to update it to 4.01 first apparently. And I did that process already but I didn't remember what I had to do so I had to look up exactly what I had to do a little bit and then try to rejog my memory on how I did it. So I'm just gonna make this video so I can remember it for the future of myself. And so you wanna go on your Windows machine, go to Ethernet settings, go to Ethernet properties, go into here and go to your IPv4, this is what I did, IPv4 properties, and I set my address to a static address here, okay, and that's not the same as the one that you set for your netdim, so my netdim is set to 192.168.1.4, so I just set this one to be one different, and afterwards, I think this is the secret that you gotta do, you need to configure your Ethernet advanced here you need to go to your speed and duplex so you have to bump this down to 10 megabytes half duplex then it can talk to the net dim I wasn't talking to it before I was getting nothing back from my ping so that was the secret that I had to do and after that you go to your transfer game okay and you take the binary images punch this into your IP of your Naomi net dim and then it'll transfer over all the files after you transfer over the files you need to go into your settings. You need to go down to game test mode and go into there. Then you can update your firmware and then it will run through the menus and then you reset and it should be good. You should see the new version. So I'm gonna exit here. I'm gonna load the next version, which is 4.02 here. So my file's already in there. Let's see the name of the file which is this one, see here. And then we're gonna send it over the network. So it is connecting. File sending over to 4.02. Now with 4.02, then you can use your Wi-Fi net booter. You need to get it up to 4.02. Naomi will be rebooting now. We're gonna check the versions on it. I think we have to go through that process again. I'm gonna show you real quick. Looks like it's still rebooting again. Oh, here we go. It goes into it automatically. So hit the test button for next. Yeah, you should get it comes into the menu like this. Now, it doesn't automatically go into this menu when you go to 4.01. You have to go into the test menu and then go into that game test menu. Then it'll go into here. But 4.02, it goes into here automatically. It's a pretty quick update, and after this, all we have to do is reset the machine. All right, machine coming back up. We just wanna go into the test menu to check it out real fast. Okay, the firmware is updated. Confirm update 4.02. No need to update, just turn off the target, okay. After you're done updating, you want to reset your network's 
network drivers or properties back to what they were before so you can just use it again connect to the internet go back here select auto negotiation again okay check the properties once more we'll go down to here check the properties i'm going to obtain automatically that's back to our original state okay now I am hooked up my Raspberry Pi that I have used for my other one so I can load the games into here and try it out real fast to make sure it works I'm sending the game over now well actually it's not gonna work because you want to see the next step I need to actually configure the Wi-Fi for the address of the new on so I'm gonna do that right now. So for whatever reason I couldn't log into the Wi-Fi of the my Pi. I think I told my phone to forget the network because I was connecting to it accidentally at arcade venues and when they have it running too. Um, anyways I connected it to my router so I'm in here. Okay you want to go to menu and you want to go to setup. Now you want to um, Net them. Here we go. That's what I need. Okay, I'm resetting my IP address to 10.0.0.4, so I'm gonna match it over here. Add the entry. There you go. Now we have we have two entries in here now. All right, all right. We finally got it working. So yeah, it took me a little bit to figure out why I wasn't uh, able to talk to send the game over to the net them. Uh, I tried it the normal way and this wasn't sending from the panel here. I was just trying it over and over and it wasn't sending anything. But it turns out if I used my, uh, if I used the web interface here with the Wi-Fi net router, it actually sent it over. So I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, so everything is working and I'm just going to close it up. And yeah, now we have two functioning net dims. Alright, if you guys like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you like this content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.